Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video, I am trying all of the newest fast food items. So Taco Bell came out with a ton of Cantina chicken menu items. So there's the Cantina crispy chicken taco, the Cantina chicken burrito, Cantina chicken quesadilla, Cantina chicken soft taco, Cantina chicken bowl. <laughs> so I got every single one of them to try. They all sound so good. I couldn't choose which I wanted so I just got them all so the first one we're gonna try is the crispy chicken taco so this is slow roasted chicken with three cheese blend and creamy jalapeno sauce and then they all come with an avocado verde salsa so I want to try it without and then I'll try it with it but this is literally on a fire So there's cheese on the outside of the shell, but it still has a really good crunch to it. And the chicken has such good flavor. Let's try it with the salsa. Mm. I think it was better without it. Okay, this is the quesadilla. So this is what the quesadilla looks like and then it comes with guacamole and sour cream. So that's cool because I feel like nothing ever really comes with guac. And then it also comes with the avocado verde salsa. I don't know if I'm gonna try it with this. I didn't really like it, but I mean, I guess it really depends on what you're mixing it with, right? Okay, I love my quesadillas dipped in sour cream. Let's give it a bite. I wish it was a little um, crunchier. It's like very chewy. But I really like the flavor of the cantina chicken. It has really nice like Spanish spices. I like the crunchy taco better. I think I'd give the crunchy taco an eight out of 10 and the quesadilla a seven out of 10. Okay, this is the soft shell taco and it looks so good. So inside the soft shell taco is the cantina chicken, avocado ranch, purple cabbage, cheese, pico de gallo, and lettuce. So I think I'm gonna like this the most so far because I love everything inside of it. So let's give it a bite. Mm. I like the crunch from the crunchy taco, but I like that this one has all the toppings on it. I'd say this is like an 8.5 out of 10 because it's just a little bit better than the other one. So far, these are pretty good, but I do still like a cheesy gordita crunch better. I don't know if maybe it's just because I like the meat that they use better or if it's just because I love like the Doritos Locos Tacos with everything, but the chicken does have really good flavor in it, but I don't know. There's just something about that cheesy gordita crunch that I just think is a little bit better so the cantina chicken burrito i honestly think is one of their mo most expensive burritos it was over six dollars for this and it is slow roasted chicken purple cabbage avocado ranch lettuce chipotle sauce pico de gallo and cheese so it has the same exact things as the soft shell taco does so i wonder if it's going to taste exactly the same Not sure if I like that. Mm. This is what the inside looks like. But the purple cabbage gets really soggy from being inside a burrito. So it has a very weird texture to it. I'd say the burrito is my least favorite out of all of them. I'd probably give the burrito like a 4 or 5 out of 10. I just don't really like it. I don't like the textures in it. Um, 
yeah i don't think it has as good a flavor as the taco even though it has the same ingredients so if you're between the two definitely go with a taco it has a way better texture a way better crunch to it um the burrito is just like not it okay, and then lastly we have the cantina chicken bowl so this bowl comes with the cantina chicken black beans avocado ranch reduced fat sour cream pico de gallo guacamole cheese lettuce rice and purple cabbage it's very similar to like a chipotle bowl so i want to try and see if it actually is as good or not let's mix everything up i feel like you really can't beat chipotle there's just something about that place that is just like top tier. <laughs> but we're gonna try this bowl and see if it can compete. I do like Chipotle better, but if you don't have a Chipotle near you, or you're like already at Taco Bell or you want other things from Taco Bell, this is pretty good. All of the flavors really complement each other really nicely. So the chicken really doesn't taste like the normal chicken at Taco Bell. It has like Mexican spices to it. And if you're a fan of Mexican spices, you would love this. I'd probably give the bowl like an eight out of 10. And honestly, you get a lot of food for the price. I personally think the best thing was that soft shell taco and the worst thing was the burrito which is kind of funny because they're the exact same ingredients but they just taste very different in the soft shell opposed to the burrito. If you like Mexican spices I really think you would love it. I personally would still get my cheesy gordita crunch over it but all in all I would say the new cantina menu in a whole is probably like a seven out of 10. So I have a couple more stops to make. So I will see you guys at stop number two. If you guys are enjoying this video so far and you are not subscribed, make sure you go subscribe right now. 60% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed and I currently have a giveaway going on. So if you do subscribe and then follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you have one and then comment done with your Instagram handle, you will be in the running to win a pair of Apple AirPod Pros. So make sure you go do that. Also, I'm planning on doing a bunch of more giveaways in the future. So if you you're watching it and you're enjoying make sure you hit that subscribe button okay i am at starbucks because they have their new iced lavender cream oat milk matcha i don't really like matcha and i don't know how i feel about lavender in my drink but apparently it tastes like a fruity cereal so i'm like okay i love me some fruity cereal so i really wanted to try it then i also got the vanilla custard danish i know it's not really that new but i've been wanting to try it and some of you say you love it and some of you say you hate it so i wanted to try it for myself so this is the lavender matcha um, I know <laughs> the pictures show with a lot more lavender up top. I just have a little bit, but let's take a sip. Um, I don't know if it's because I don't really have much of the lavender cream. Mine just kind of tastes like grass. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I should have asked for extra of the lavender cream. Because that does have a really nice like sweet fruity flavor to it. I see where like people are getting like that fruity cereal. Or like fruity cereal milk. Uh flavor to it but I don't think mine really has enough of the lavender cream to totally get that okay let's try the vanilla custard danish oh no it's like stuck okay some of you said that you didn't like the texture of the custard but the girl at the window said that I got 
her go-to like food and drink for her lunch break. She said that this is her favorite thing on the menu. So let's see. Okay, I see where the custard could have like that like gummy consistency. But I do think the flavor of it is really good. Yeah, I would definitely get this again. Make sure if you try it, you warm it up though. Because this is warmed and I feel like the custard would have a very odd texture if it was cold. Okay, well that was actually really good. Um, I definitely preferred it over Taco Bell. <laughs> the Taco Bell was like good when I was eating it, but it gave me a really bad <laughs> stomach ache afterwards. Like it is like four hours later because my stomach just like was killing me. <laughs> Not to be like TMI, but yeah. I don't know if maybe it was just like my stop or whatever, but try their new items like at your own risk. <laughs> The new lavender matcha, if you want that like sweetness, that fruity cereal milk that everyone's talking about, make sure you get extra lavender cream because I feel like that is what would give it that taste. Um, it had like a slight flavor of that when I did get the little bits of the lavender, but I don't think mine really had enough of it. But the vanilla custard danish, it was absolutely delicious. So if you haven't tried that yet, make sure you try it but definitely get it warmed up because that custard I feel like is probably like really like gooey and thick if uh, you don't get it warmed up. Last stop of the day is Burger King to try their new fiery buffalo chicken nuggets and their Poe Panda Sunday. <laughs> so you guys know I love ice cream so I had to try that. So these are the buffalo chicken nuggets and they are so so saucy. I was expecting them to be like a dry rub, but that is like saucy. They smell really good though, but I think I'm gonna grab a fork to eat them with. And then this is the Poe Panda Sunday. So it's like a cookies and cream Sunday. So hopefully this is good. The only thing is, I hate when they fill things like over the lid, but then there's no like access point through the top. Cause then I have to take the lid off and it's all gonna spill everywhere. <laughs> so I gotta eat the chicken nuggets quick so we can get to this before it melts. So I'm not like covered in an ice cream sundae. I also got ranch cause I'm sure I'm gonna need ranch for fiery buffalo chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay, this is it up close oh that's really good hmm I don't typically even <clears throat> love buffalo sauce, but the flavor of this is so good. Mm. This is the best thing I've had all day. One of you had commented that I'm a lefty, that you were trying to figure out like why it looked weird or whatever. <laughs> Yes, I am indeed left-handed, which is why I'm like always trying to like cross over my body. <laughs> so I don't wanna like eat this way, like away from the camera. So I'm like always trying to eat this way. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why it looks silly if you were wondering the same thing. <laughs> These are a 10 out of 10. They have such good flavor and a really nice crunch to them. 
if you like buffalo honestly even if you don't like buffalo you might still like these because i'm not crazy about like buffalo chicken dip or buffalo sauce but this is really good okay poe panda sunday so they released this in the beginning of the month in honor do you see that i knew that was gonna happen oh man it just rained oreo all over my car i'm gonna be in trouble orlando told me to stop making a mess because he's done cleaning my car on the weekly and uh i just made a really big one well we're just gonna have to commit at this point <laughs> this is in honor of kung fu panda the new movie coming out that's why the toy that i got in my last video was also like from kung fu panda it's basically just vanilla ice cream with uh fudge and then the oreo pieces Okay, so I'd probably rate this like a 6 or 7 out of 10. It is good, but Freddy's Sundays are just so much better. <laughs> well, on that note, I am going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!